Hey guys, let's see bringing you another video. Welcome back to Mundo's Nurse. Again, unfortunately, today's not gone that well. So hilariously, of recording this game, the Huzzy account and the Mundo's Nurse account are at the exact same rank. Diamond 4, 0 LP. Um, yeah, I don't know really what's going on. It's just the way of it, but it is what it is. Playing a Smolder game. So the idea today was to try and do counter picks, but we had someone in my team go like, please trade, give me the roll. So, you know, I'm playing AD carry, so whatever. It's a cheesy Quinn support. They've never played it. They've got Glacial. I don't exactly know what the hell the point of that would be. But we'll guess I... Well, we'll find out, I guess. Uh, also, um, again, Maya wasn't here last week. But this is currently what she is doing there. And it's literally... I just took that picture a minute ago. So that is what Miss Maya is up to. Catching up on some Zs. But yeah, she's very sleepy. And hopefully she... Uh, have a bit of a chill week, I hope. Hey mom, what are the fire thingies next to my ears called? It's my cinnamon swirl, we call it when she's doing that. Because she kind of looks like a cinnamon swirl <laughs> with a coloration. Right, so Jin Quinn, again, I what does Quinn actually normally play? They are a Rakan main. Anybody in Twitch know what this is? Anyone wanna TLDR me? The first day of Ramadan today. You say happy Ramadan? Is that a thing? Is it like Christmas? What is it? Like, wait, which one's Ramadan? That's the one that you give up stuff, is it? You like can't eat in the day or something? Fasting from sunrise to sunset. Okay. Ba -da -da. Yeah, and obviously religion's not my thing, but if it's for you, we'll power to you. Yeah, I'll be going on a diet myself after I get back from Disney. That's what I've said to myself. That's what I've said. I want to lose some... Oh my god. I want to lose some weight. I've been in a bit of a weird mental headspace for a little while. Um, but the, the, let's say the cloudiness of my mental... Oh my god. Seems to um, finally be easing, which is nice. Uh, Solo Warrior 10. Thank you so much, dude, for the 53 months. Well done, Quinn. Like, what's the point of Quinn's support? I don't understand. Like, what's it supposed to do other than, like, it's obviously some form of cheese pick, but, like, how is it going to support anything? I don't know. Uh, my plan when I get back is doing, like, one meal a day, yeah. It's, I know there's many ways to lose weight. It's the way that works for me. Oh, Neferi. Again, I've never had too many good Neferis, if I'm honest. She just seems like a champion that a lot of people cannot get right. Yeah, I've never seen a Quinn support either. But someone in Twitch chat was like, oh, it's Quinn support. Or someone in Champ Select. Like, people knew, like, it was a thing. I'm like, is it? Holy Bear is top lane. Puppy should be pretty safe. I might do a Volley Bear game later today. People have been telling me about this new Volley Bear build. Um, so we might look into doing that later. It's about all like crazy healing or something. So... As you go. Um, yeah, we may give that a go. And you obviously, she, we've got Sheen on our first base. Sheen is very good for this champion because, it, oh my god, it does help with his damage that is so low in the early game. Yeah, question of the day though what do you guys actually think of Smolder? A lot of people already really dislike this champion. Ooh. 
Don't even think I needed a ghost there, to be honest. I see. I like his design. Do I think he's balanced right now? No. I I do think his um. What's it? I do think. Wait, not Sheen. Is it Sheen? Yeah, Sheen. I do think his uh, blah, 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 execute is the most unhealthy thing. Like, I don't think that should realistically be in the game on a champion. It's too strong. Yeah, get rid of the Elder Dragon mechanic and I think you'll be fine. But yeah. And yeah, I was slimmer. Basically, I was slimmer just before the pandemic. Uh, and I've spoken about it a bit, but... The pandemic, obviously, I think did a number on a lot of people's mental, including mine. But I also had a bad situation be happening as well at the same time. Um, again, I've told you guys a bit about it, but yeah, it was a very weird situation. Police were involved in everything, um, and that did a really bad number on my mental health. And that's when, like, yeah, I started eating. I'm a comfort eater, and now I am. I know my own weakness, and I'm a comfort eater through and through. So, uh, when that all was going on, I put on a lot of weight. Because I was using that to try and uh, make me feel a bit better. I do need people to be bot lane. Oh. Wow. Getting any help, am I? Wind support seems really useless. And Bard abandoning me kind of sucks for a smolder, not gonna lie. But the good thing is I know how to lose weight. I just have to be in the mental to do it. I lost 60 pounds in roughly six months. But at the same time, you have to remember, I'm obviously limited because of my Achilles, but I've gotten really into powerlifting in the last three, four years. Powerlifting, if you look at powerlifters, we're all really bulky. Um, you kind of have to have a bit of bulk. So although I've kind of got a bigger, it's I have definitely put a lot of fat on, but I've put also a lot of muscle on too. And plus, when I was at my slimmest, I actually didn't like how slim I got. And I don't know. I, I do some, somewhat think I might have an addicted personality. Um, you know, there I've been times addicted to World of Warcraft and stuff like that. And I got, I think when I was in my weight loss vibe, I got really addicted to the scale. Every day I wanted to see a minus. And if I didn't see a minus, I got quite down, which obviously isn't healthy. Uh, that's not healthy weight loss. Um... So I think I, I got way too under what I actually wanted to be. My lowest I got to, and I'm naturally not a slim person. I'm naturally quite like a broady, bulky guy. Um, I think I got down to 163 pounds at my lowest. Um, which, yeah, isn't... Yeah. To put it in perspective, my heaviest, I believe I was probably about 260-ish. Right now, I'm about 215, but with a lot more muscle mass than what I used to have. So, I'm a healthy, I would say, 215 at the moment, which is nice. But, yeah. That hit me. Yeah, once I was not comfortable at 165. Like, ugh, it was too much. So... I think I'll be like I. I honestly think my number is about um, two hundred pounds. I do actually think that's my number. Oh, I could have got a double kill then if he left it, but it is good for Hecarim to get a kill or two, so I don't mind that. All right, I'll come over there in a second. Oh, I was actually gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna kill, get a tower plate. I'm not gonna get a tower plate. It's too tanky. <laughs> Well, like, how much is... Uh, uh, I'm going to be competing, and this is the thing. It, those are like, oh, will you lose the weight? I have to. Uh, I am going to be competing, and by the way, yes, I want to vlog it as well. I'm going to be doing a powerlifting meet later this year, and I'm going to be competing in the 90 kilo category. So I have to weigh 90 kilo um, for the powerlifting meet.
Jin is... I'm going to say something that might sound weird. He shouldn't be playing Jin. This guy is way too aggressive. Jin's not this type of aggressive, crazy lane phase champ. I know he's against a Smolder, so you kind of can be, but at the same time, I don't think... You know, I think he's being a bit too crazy in some aspects. When's the meet? Uh, we're aiming for September, I think, uh, because of my Achilles. We need that to be good. So 100, uh, 90 kilos, 198 pounds. The thing is, with these type of meets, I'm going to be above 90 kilo when we're actually at the meet. The same with Strongman in powerlifting. So you basically, you go there waiting 90 kilo, but the day or two before, yeah, you don't really drink. Uh, you sweat out a lot of fluids. And then in the, net, the the hours after weigh-in, you'll then actually weigh back up to like 93, 94 kilo. So yeah, I'll probably need to get back. I'll need to get down to like 90, yeah, 93, 94 kilo to compete. So I need to lose about six or so kilo, which isn't that bad. I think I'll be able to, well, I'll be able to do that, well, pretty damn easily. Um, I just have to keep to a diet. It's that simple. So the Neferi, by the way, is 0-4 in mid lane right now. And also 43 farm to 103. That is a very big difference. I very rarely see Neferis do well. Like, that champion seems to have been more or less forgotten. Oh, she's doing it again. I wonder if this player even plays it. Uh, they've got five games of it. Negative win rate. Uh, well, the first, yeah, the, well, the first, the, depends your body weight initially, but your first initial weight loss, don't get me wrong, it's good to do, but it's water weight. Uh, we're all carrying excess water weight around. And the moment you go on a diet and your body starts kind of shredding stuff, it initially just gets rid of a lot of the water weight. Um, and that's where a lot of people, they lose, you know, they could lose up to, a, here in the UK, we call it a stone or something. They could lose up to a stone really quickly and get really motivated. And then it slows down, and then they get a bit demotivated. It's very normal. Dutch Rubin with a gifted sub. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Let's get our essence. This game is going to be hard, because the, the Neferi basically doesn't exist this game. They are having a awful game. And yeah, I will say, so far, I don't really see the point of Quinn. You lost five stone in four months? Wow, that's huge. Well done. Uh-oh. Ekram is so squishy. This game does feel like it's getting away from us. And that's kind of, I don't know. Obviously, I'm in a happy mood. I'm recording so I can go on holiday at the moment. But it's where I will be honest. I'm not really in climbing mode. But at the same rate, I don't even know if it would matter if I'm in climbing mode. Because the teammates that we're getting at the moment, I don't know. They are uh, interesting to say the least. Oh, look, this Nefiri is 54 farm, 06. Had flash available, didn't use it. Like what? It's, it's like they're trying not to win at this rate. But it's so, if they're the person that wanted to trade, and if they're autofill potentially, why would you pick Neferi? Like, that's a weird pick to rando pick. I think the only people that make that champion work are people that really play it. Ah, uh, I should have just backed away. I could have survived. I genuinely could have survived then, but I was being greedy for the kill. Damn. On average, they normally seem better on this account, but so far today, not really. Has to be said. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh okay. You need to go die. Nico's coming. There's the Nico, who's very fed right now. That's Nico. 
Quinn's coming back as well. Again, give it to Quinn. Who cares if Quinn's support gets it? Oh, she literally does know. What's her build? Wait, is she going Iceborne Gauntlet first item? Dude, she's just trolling. But again, her team's so far ahead, it probably doesn't matter. That's the annoying thing. Bro. Dutch Ruben says, thank you for being my uh, favorite League of Legends streamer. I did learn a lot uh, from your gameplay. I hope to see your content for many years to come. Thanks, dude. I hope so, too. Um, and again, if you guys like what I do, you know, ways that you can help out. We've always said it, and it's just true. Liking, commenting, it helps. It really does help. There's a reason that YouTubers say that stuff is because it's true. Oh my god, it wasn't that one. I was like, it has to be that one, right? Oh. <laughs> Bard got it! No! Of all of us who got that, Bard got it. Oh, Alright, I'm on 1, 2, 2. So I'm 3 away from my next upgrade. Uh, B-Rock though, yeah. 29 months says hello and chat. Hello, huzz and chat, I should say. Hello. But as we all know, with this champion, it's why a lot of people are actually starting to dislike Smolder. Um, ult him, ult him, ult him, ult him. I think there was an opportunity there, but he just had to go for the ult a bit early. Now you ult? Why? Uh, decision making, though? Ooh. Who TP with that TP? Was that Nico? It was Nico. Who's a Lowy disguised? How do I rate Quinn this year? I still put Quinn as probably one of the worst champions in league. Quinn wins if people don't know what they're doing. If people know what they're doing, Quinn is one of the most useless, or potentially is the most useless champion in the game. Poppy rushed Eclipse first item. <laughs> I can see why that's not gone well. Oh, we have literally zero control. Like, I can eventually carry potentially as a smolder, but we have to get to 225 stacks. Like, I have to get there. Dude, minions don't go there, Nico. That's what I mean. Like, Nico's not even hard to beat if you just pay attention, but I'm guessing the Neferi hasn't really paid attention this game. Uh, that's Lowy. Wait, Neferi, where are you going? Dude, this Neferi I do kind of think might be trolling. A gameplay doesn't make sense. Why, Bard? No. We're so weak. Again, Hecarim's too squishy. Poppy's too squishy. Like they've all, they've both just got Eclipse, so they're just gonna get one shot. If my team play and this, no, 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 stop taking stacks away from me. Like, okay, I was literally about to say, if my team plays smart and play to a smolder, we might be able to win. And then you have a Hecarim trying to take farm away from a Smolder. I think it's our only way of actually winning is if I manage to, to get to hyper carry status. Naturally hyper carry. In what world does Poppy go first time Eclipse? Yeah, I don't know. 
none, but <laughs> this one apparently. Arena, yeah, maybe arena mode, not not rank summoners rift. I would say. I am obviously looking out for any weird minions. Because it will be Nico in disguise. But they are just all in the... So I'm guessing... And this Quinn thing is just stupid. But what I'm guessing it's supposed to do... Is... She gets to engage for free. And because of the Iceborne you slow people. And then they can't get away. That seems to be what it's trying to do. And I don't think it's good, but I think that's what it's trying to do. Ooh, nice. Right. Nico got a bit greedy there. 174. We are getting there. We are getting there. <sighs> Under an eighty four. We're also not too far away from spear. So by the time we get spear, we should be around two two four stacks as well. Should be roughly about the same time. Dude, I don't get any of these kills, though. It's Nico. Oh, we can't follow you like that, my dude. That's impossible. Ooh. Oh. Is that Nico? It was. She's full health. They're probably going to go Baron, but there's nothing again we can do. If Hecarim was a bit tankier, I think we'd be alright, but he's a very squishy boy. We can't. We have to give it. Sometimes you just have to give up. Like, just leave it. Like, the chance of getting that is basically zero, but then you're just feeding them even more gold. You're feeding them more gold. They're going to get the objective anyway. I don't know. And boom, and boom, more gold to the enemy team. It's like, they still probably get Baron. And you just gave them a free kill. Like, what's the point? So now they get two free kills, and they still get Baron. That's why I like just sometimes just give it up. Like, especially when it's not your jungler that's doing it. Like, that was our Poppy top lane. It's like, well, Poppy top lane's not going to steal it. Ekra might. Alright, we're not too far away. We'll see what we can do. Hey, Magnus. Six away. Six away. Yeah, that Poppy build, I think... I'm hoping even that player's probably like, ah, I shouldn't have probably gone Eclipse. <laughs> You're focusing the Quinn support, bro. She's gone tank. Oh, this Nefari is so useless. game double kill. Enemy double kill. Got him. right we're at 225 played that well oh 
la 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 la. Holy bear is full health. Um. Oh yes, flash. <laughs> he still had flash the entire time. Can't react to a flash stun like that. Oh, this is hard. We've got a useless Poppy and a useless Nefari and a two squishy Hecarim. One and nine Nefari. But again, I'm pretty strong now, so we'll see. Right, that's a good. Stop them getting the inhib. Kill the little grubbies. All right. I don't think I will say we're gonna try our best to see what we can do. Like the enemy bot lane, by the way, is zero and eight. Like legit, we've beaten the enemy bot lane, but eight and four, nine and two, five and three, or two hundred farm. It's like there's only so much we can do. I'm gonna push this and then head over because I'm just scared like Jid or someone who's gonna be like tilted a bit. He's just going to ignore everything and just split push top. Nico's in that bush. Dragonborn. Has he done this Healy build thing? We can't kill him. Literally cannot kill that volley bear. What? He doesn't even have the crazy Healy build. He's just really fed. Eh. <laughs> Tank is supreme nowadays, man. Just go something that does, is tanky and does damage and you're golden. Your squishy stuff, I don't know. Doesn't seem the way to go on this patch, at least. Jin was 0-3. He just got three kills from that fight. Oh, that's tilting. Oh, that was Nico. <sighs> yeah, I think it's, I don't know, the tanky, bruisery things, Volibear, Lowey, Mundo. They are crazy. What the heck? Does anybody buy anti-heal? I don't... Wait, Poppy? What? I don't think anyone's bought anti-heal. Oh, wait. Poppy has, but, like, that's not the most useful. Good follow-up. Obviously, getting more stacks does benefit me. We will see what we can do. <laughs> she was one of those allowed. I, I did actually think two of them are too close together. I was like, wait a minute. She could have maybe... I don't know. Maybe she just felt I was going to, like, react in time. This is fun and balanced, isn't it? He's literally basically a full tank, but can near enough one-shot me. Be really careful here. Cool. Oh, I'll allow his top lane split pushing. That's still really good, though. Yeah, but... A base. <laughs> They're like Baron. Our base. And Nico. So both of them are just focusing on splitting, which again is fairly smart to be fair. My wave clear. So I wouldn't be surprised, okay, so just to explain wait what? Wait what? Allow survived. And just killed Nefari. Uh, I think Nico could still be here. I think she could try to pretend to be... Okay. I was like, she could pretend. She wasn't even pretending.
Oh. Yeah, at least I kill Nico. That might also get Alawi killed. If that kills Alawi too, it's worth it. I just don't know if any of my team have got any strength. She still had flash up too. Holy moly. Okay. Okay, they get it. They Baron. Poppy, go over to Baron and use your ult. And Poppy doesn't have ult. Go, go, go. They might be on it. They are. Here we go. I can feel it. Steal! Oh. Go, go, go. In, 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 in. That was such a bad smite. Oh, that was such a bad smite. It was literally 1290. I literally saw 1219. Wait, like, how did I see 1219 and then... Does Hecarim not have full smite yet or something? Like, I don't understand. Oh, Jesus. No! Okay, she died. She had flash to get to me annoyingly. Oh, now that's a Lowey with TP. Oh. Dude, this is how you play League nowadays. We how, like we had, I think, four games last week that people just did the back door. And now we're already getting one. They're like, that legit is just how you play League now. Oh, well. So, yeah, I think I'll upload this one. We really tried, but the Nefari being 2 and 11, Ekrim was too squishy, and then Poppy rushing Eclipse just let Alawi be fed. Like, what can we do? I don't know. I don't know. I just can't win today. Three games, three losses. Uh, 23 months uh, from Lil Big Mouth says, here's to a wonderful streamer and wonderful community. Hope you'll uh, enjoy your well-needed and well-deserved break, Huzzy T.Y. for the entertainment. Thank you. Hey, I can't win today. Literally. Three games, three losses. And this account might even get demoted soon too. It probably won't for a while because of the MMR, but still. Still. Um... No, so someone just said, like, it feels his DPS is low. My, my damage was good. Like, look, 35,000 damage. The reason why it didn't probably appear that it was amazing this game is because the people I was fighting were overfed. The Nico was fed. The Volibear was fed. The Alawi was fed. If we were on equal footing, I'd kill people really quick. That's, that's what Smolder does. But my team, it was the combination. My team was useless, and they really just made the enemy team fed. Uh, look, the 2 and 11 Neferi did 18k damage. Bar did 22. Again, the Quinn was useless. 0 8 Quinn, 10,000 damage. That was basically a troll pick. But unfortunately, bot lane was irrelevant and it was to do with mid, jungle, and top. And if you compare their mid, jungle, and top with ours, yeah. Again, you might be like, oh, look, Hecarim did the same damage as Volibear. Yeah, Volibear is near enough a full tank doing the same damage as someone only building damage. And then if you looked in here, I'll take a wild guess damage taken. Volibear takes 53,000 compared to Hecarim's 45, which again, it's not that actually far away, but Volibear is doing the same damage, being tankier than him, being also more problematic, you could say. So I don't know. This was just one of those games that I don't know what more I could do. We just needed a team to not feed, which they didn't, and just to be a bit useful, which they weren't. But it's the way of it. But if you guys still enjoyed, Smolder's always fun. Well, Smolder's fun to play, whether he's balanced or not. I don't know. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime and.